boys and girls, I'm Mrs. Holberg at Second Baptist Church. I'm so glad that you visited with us for our virtual Sunday School today. We're starting a new study, a Bible study about Moses. And we are going to begin with Moses as a baby. So we're talking today about how God protects us like God protected Moses when he was a little baby. If you want to follow along in your Bible, then we're going to look today, it's way at the beginning of the Bible. We're in Exodus chapter 1, and we're going all the way to chapter 2, verse 10. And our Bible verse today is, the Lord is always with me. Now you have to look way back in your Bible where we've been in Acts to find that. And we're at Acts 2, and we're at verse 25, and it's, the Lord is always with me. So that just means that God was with baby Moses and his mom and sister and helped take care of him, just like God is always with us. That's our special Bible book where all of God's stories come from. So let's find out how did God protect baby Moses? Well, you see today, I brought a basket, it was probably made out of reeds, which is like a a uh, type of grass that grows near the shallow water. And I've got baby Moses in the basket. He is going for a float. Let's see what in the world is going on. So here is our pictures. Now remember that Egypt was being ruled by a very mean king and he was called a pharaoh and he was not nice and he was in charge of all of the Egyptians and they were slaves. I mean, I'm sorry, in charge of all the Israelites and they were slaves and they worked for the Egyptians. So he had decided, the Pharaoh did, that there should be no more Israelite children because there were too many of them and they were taking over, multiplying too fast. So the Pharaoh wanted to get rid of the Israelite babies and there was a mother and her name was, um, Jacobab, I think, was the, her name. Yeah, Jacobet. And he, she was trying to hide baby Moses. And for three months, she did a pretty good job of it. But as babies get bigger, they cry louder, and the soldiers were walking around all over the Israelites' area. And she was very much afraid. So here she is, and she has decided that she is going to make a basket out of reeds and she is going to put the baby in the basket and put them in the water. Now, God was with her and helped her plan this out. She was not just putting her baby in the water and sending him on downstream. She had a specific plan about when the Pharaoh's daughter came every week to bathe in the water. They didn't have indoor plumbing, so they would, you know, take a bath in the water. So the Pharaoh was going to come, Pharaoh's daughter was going to come. She was beautiful, very sweet, and um, very loving. And the mother knew when this princess was coming near the water. So she takes the baby and she puts the baby in the reeds, very close to where um, the, usually the princess comes. Now, M Miriam was baby Moses' sister. And she was set there to hide in the grasses and to find out what happened with baby Moses. You know how worried the mother was, but she knew God was with her and that this was a plan to save her son. So the beautiful pr princess of the Pharaoh did come and she saw the baby and she knew right away it was probably an Israelite baby boy and that she, the mother would had been hiding the baby. She knew exactly what was going on. So she took the baby and she decided that she was going to raise the baby herself and she was going to name him Moses. That was her, her idea. So Miriam pops out of the, of the grasses that are around the area and she pops out and she says, oh, would you like for me to find somebody to help you, princess, take care of the baby? And she said, oh yes, that would be wonderful. So Miriam ran to get her mother and said, the princess wants you to come and take care of the baby. So that was perfect, right? Because now they could all be together. So Moses grew up in the palace and he became um, a wonderful
wonderful leader of the Israelites. Let's look in our little flat book right here today. If you like flat books, I know, from when we were in Sunday school. There's a picture of the princess. This is Miriam. She's wading into the water. And what is she going to help the princess find? But baby Moses. There he is in the basket. So the baby was safe. Now we know that the Pharaoh found out about the baby, and the baby was was and the Pharaoh was not very happy about it. But the um, the the Pharaoh changed his mind and let the princess keep the baby. And um, I just want to show you. See, he, this is what a Pharaoh looks like. So here he is, and he is not happy, and he wants to take the baby away. But the princess talks him into letting him keep the baby and to grow strong and live in the palace. And although the Egyptian people were not believers in God, they worshiped like different types of idols. But the princess knew about God. And Moses, because his mother was staying with him, then was taught all about God's love and how to live um, and believe in God. And that's how Moses kept his faith, even though he was living under Egyptian rule. So that's our great story today. We want to know that God is always with us and that God will always protect us. Let's see what Pockets is doing. Hey, Pockets. Hi. Oh, no. What's wrong, Pockets? Well, I'm having trouble on the playground. Oh, you're having trouble? Yes. It's kind of a bully. Oh dear, Pockets, are you all right? Yes, but I needed some protection. Oh, well, God is always with you, Pockets. Huh? God always can protect you. You can always tell your mom or your dad or your teacher if you're having trouble with something. Yeah, well, he wasn't being nice. Hmm, well, we were just learning about the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh wasn't being very nice either. He didn't want there to be any Israelite boys. Hmm. That's not good. No, it wasn't. He wasn't very nice. But the princess found him and took care of Moses, and everything was all right. God protected him. Hmm, okay. Well, what's happening with the person on the playground? He says I'm too little to go on the slide. Oh, and so maybe he wants a turn and not you? Yeah, you got it. Hmm, so what did he do? He pushed me. Hmm, well, when somebody does something that's not nice, you have to tell them in a very firm voice. Do not do that. It hurts me. Okay, that sounds brave. Yeah, that's very brave. But you also can tell your teacher and tell your mom or dad, and they will help too if you need some help. But you should try first to stand up for yourself, okay? God's going to protect you. Okay, I'll try. That's right. That's what our whole story is about. Yeah, I like Moses. Yeah, Moses was great. So we're going to learn a lot about Moses this entire month. We're going to talk about Moses. Okay. Got a rhyme? I do have a rhyme. I have a rhyme about the baby. Do you want to, to hear about it? Yeah. All right. Think about my little basket over here with Moses in it when I'm seeing it. Okay. So baby Moses went for a float in his little basket boat down the river through the grass. Sister Miriam watched it pass. Then the princess heard him cry and said, What is this I spy? It looks like a baby boy. He will be my pride and joy. Miriam knew just what to do. She said, I will find some help for you. So Miriam brought her mother round, and baby, G baby Moses was safe and sound. Oh, rhyming words. I do have rhyming words at the end of every little verse there. I like it. That's good. Well, our point, you know, is that Moses and his family were safe because God protected them. He's always with us. Yeah, that's good. Oh, how about the art? Oh, yeah, how about the art? So what I was thinking would be so fun today is if you wanted to first, if you want to, get some of your dolls and baskets at home. You can make the story and retell it. Or if you want, you can do this one here. I used a coffee filter. Hmm. And I drew Moses on a piece of paper and cut him out. This little blanket, the water represents the little stream that's going by. And here's Miriam, the sister, and she's hiding in the reeds, which are like the tall grass area. So you can make that too if you would like to. Remember, in the mail, I sent you some 
activities for you to do too. So search and find and a little maze. You'll have fun with that too today. Okay. Um, you want to say the prayer? Yes. Okay. Well, let's just find our prayer, and then we'll. Um, it'll be our time will be up today. Okay. Let's do. Let's hold our hands. Oh. with us today and help be with us and protect us whenever we need you help us to trust you that you will take care of us and dear God thank you for sending Moses he was a wonderful leader and he taught us so very much and helped the Israelites as a wonderful leader Jesus name Amen okay boys and girls I love you so much I want you to remember to say your blessings before all your meals I want you to say your prayers at night. God really wants to hear from you. So before you go to sleep, say your prayers. And then I want you to come on back to Sunday school next week, okay? Not too much longer till we'll be together. Love you. Bye.